There were smiles all around as John and Irene Hayes broke the news that they're expanding their business and offering a lifeline to thousands of former Thomas Cook employees. A significant percentage of people have actually cried when we've offered them, uh, offered them, a, offered them a job, which is very moving. It has. It has. We're, we're, we're really, really pleased with it so far. Hayes Travel has 190 shops spread around the country, but in taking over Thomas Cook's stores, it moves them into Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales for the first time. The firm's founders believe firmly that shops still have a place in a digital world. Our staff believe that the web is their friend, our retail staff. I don't think that was the case, unfortunately, with regard to the, the, the Thomas Cook staff. So more than half of our clients who actually book in store have engaged with us either on by the website or on our Facebook pages uh, and then actually book in store and so that gives us great cause for optimism. At the end of the day it means 2,500 people who could have been losing their jobs are going to be given them. We still believe in the power of the high street and high street agencies and if 500 shops remain open as a result of this then we're behind it. Extra staff have been drafted in to help recruit the new staff needed to run these new shops. A special line for Thomas Cook employees took 400 calls in the first two hours. 3,000 users are visiting the website every minute. The phones are going crazy, we've had to second people in, which is great. So we're actually doing telephone interviews with these staff. Some of the screenings take about 20 minutes. We are getting screenings done, contracts offered, and basically as soon as we get um, the keys for premises, we're ready to go and open the doors for those customers. Andrea had worked for Thomas Cook for 17 years when the firm collapsed. There was about me and 15 of my other colleagues who worked at different shops within Thomas Cook, all on WhatsApp, all messaging and just absolutely broken hearted, two o'clock in the morning, half past two in the morning and just crying and crying and crying. She immediately contacted Hayes Travel and was employed by them the next day. It was a mixture of emotions where you felt happy but you felt a little bit angry that you were put in this situation but then you felt really euphoric because you thought oh my god this is amazing, this is absolutely a fantastic thing, this is happening to us and can only be a good, a good thing to come out of such a terrible situation. Now thousands more of her former colleagues are set to follow.